Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will learn about the events in Angular. Even in the previous video, we learned that how we can call a function on click event. But uh, there is lots of more events uh, which are very important and uh, as an Angular developer, you should know about this, these events. So now let's check out the points of this video we will see uh, some important events as i told you like uh, click event uh, i know that we learned this event in the previous video also but which is this is event then we will just uh, cover it again then key up key up with the enter and space then uh, we will learn about the key down key down enter with the space then blur mouse over and mouse leave and then i will just told you that how we can get a text box value on with the help of event and at the last of this video, I will ask you an interview question which is very important and uh, commonly asked interview question for Angular. So you can just watch previous complete video and you can answer me the interview questions answer in the comment box, right? So now let's get started. First of all, I'm just going to uh, click on the app.component.ts file and I'm just going to define a simple function like my event, right? You can make any function name, whatever you just want. And let's make a console dot warn or console dot log or alert whatever you want it's totally up to you and here i will just write here evt that simply means event and we will just pass this parameter with the uh, inside the events also right so now i'm just going to click on my app.component.html and here we will perform all the events so just define a button close it and let's write something here like click click me or something and now you can see that uh, we have a button here but for a moment there is a no action performed on it because we did not apply an event so first of all let's go for a very basic and apply a click event and with the click event we can just call a function like my event right and here we can just pass some uh, parameters so that we can just get this parameter here right so i can just simply pass here uh, this is click event or something whatever just want now let's try to call it on a click so whenever i'm just going to click you will see a console one here right so here you can see that this is a click event you can call it again and again this is working fine great so now let's uh, see that how we can use the second event which is key up right so key up is actually not possible on a button so for that we can just take uh, some input box and this is great that we will also learn uh, event with the button event and div and everything right so let's take some br tag so that we can just maintain some spaces and just write here input type text and uh, let's close it and here i am just going to define a key up so just simply write here uh, key up and here we can call a function we can just call same function like my event my event yep. and we can pass some value here like I just want to pass here key up event right and now you can see that we have a text box here and whenever I am just going to uh, press any key here like I just put one then you can see that we are able to see this event this is working fine right now just you want to get this text box value with the help of uh, the event right that how can i get it for that first of all you can define a box or any id this is basically an id in a form of angular and here you can just remove it and just write here you don't need to put here a single quotes or any string here you can just simply pass here box dot value right and uh, now let's again press any key like one two three and you can see that we are able to get the values right so uh, now you must have to know about the difference between key up and key down key up simply man means when you just press the key and you just uh, remove your finger from the key right then it will just hit an action right I just want to uh, here you can see that there is a no console whenever I just leave it now you can see that we got the values here right 
so whenever we just release the key then it will just call right and now let's try to use here key down right and it will just call when we just press a key right whenever i'm just going to press it first of all the event is called then it the value will be filled here right so that first time you will find the blank value here you can see that there is a blank value because event is called before putting the value now you will find only uh, previous value right every time you will find the previous value right so this is the way that how we can just call uh, the key event but let's say you just want to find that i'm just going to uh, you just want to get the value on uh, enter right so for that you can just write here simply key up dot enter now let's come back here and when you write here something like one two three a b c no event is called here no function is not going to call when you just hit enter now you will see that you get the value here right with the same thing you can just put here space when you just put the space then this value will be uh, the function will be called here right like uh, x y z or something you call this is not uh, there is a no console and when just press the space now you can see that the value are consoled here right great so now uh, uh, one more important event which is blur right so i'm just going to make a one more text box like here right and i just want to make it a blur blur simply means when you just uh, put your mouse uh, outside from the text box right so i am just going to put here some string like uh, blur event and all now let's come back here and on a second one because on a first one we are just working with the space right here you can see that now let's go for a second one whenever i am just going to write something here it's not uh, it, it's not going to give me any console but whenever i'm just going to click outside to it now you can see that we got the blur event right uh, so let's try again perfect i'm going to put one two three and let's click outside here right yeah uh, one two three yes here you can see that we are getting a blur event perfect so great now let's uh, look on a uh, last two events and this is the mouse event so here i'm just going to take a h1 tag or div event element whatever just want to put right and just right here mouse event or something and i'm just going to put here some style so that i can just uh, tell you the area of this h1 tag right so just right here background color is like sky blue right so now whenever i'm just going to hover it there is a no event there is a no console no function calling right now just simply right here uh event mouse over and on this you can just simply write here event and just write here mouse over great and now whenever i'm just going to over the mouse on it we will just get a function called or we got got an event right you can see that great great that's working fine so with a similar thing we can do one more thing let's say i have uh, another one like with the color of red or something right and here we can just simply use here uh, mouse leave right and let's put the text box value event or whatever just want to put come back here and whenever i'm just going to put the value in a red color there is a no event but whenever i'm just going to leave it again then it will just give an event so here you can see that there is a no event but whenever i'm just going to pull my mouse uh, away from it it will just give an event right here you can see that no event on a mouse inside mouse away will work as an event great so these are the some important events and 99% uh, 
uh, events are covered there is a very very rare chances that you will uh, use any alternative event to them okay so now the time of the question right so is it possible that i can use the two event on a single element like i just want to use the blur as well as i just want to use uh key up also right like this so is it possible if this is possible you can just comment me if this is not possible then still you have to tell me it will help us to the other developer who don't know this is the it is it possible or not and uh, that's all so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video